Hi guys, just checked in. I look like a hot mess, but I'm in Dallas and I've been to the Dallas airport multiple times, but never outside. So this is technically my first time here and I'm here with LTK. I'm gonna be here for the next two days. Um, I don't think I'm really gonna be able to explore as much of this city because I have a lot of events and networking stuff going on for the two days that I'm here. But yeah, I'm really excited. The weather is amazing. The past week in New York, it's just been so rainy and disgusting that I love the sunshine. It's 90 degrees here, but I'm going to kind of wash up, get ready, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick little room tour. Very cute. I'm staying at the Joel. Then just a full-length mirror, little bathroom. <laughs> I'm wearing this top from um, Oak and Fort shorts. These khakis are from the Or. And I'm gonna bring this like little cardigan jacket because we're gonna be inside. Also from Oak and Fort. I'm just gonna wear it on top like this, not buttoned. Lunch with Sally. <laughs> I'm back at the hotel. It has been a full day of events. This is like the last day. So there's just been a lot going on. As you can tell my voice, I'm losing it. But I've been meeting a lot of new people from all over the world. It's been amazing. Since last night, I'm so grateful to be here. Also with the um, LTK Korea team and Sally, who we've been friends on the internet. Great to finally meet each other. And I'm gonna rest for the next two hours, get some work done, and then get ready for the award ceremony for tonight, which is like the biggest event at LTK. So the theme is cocktail party, and I've brought a dress, which I'll show you guys do a little get ready with me. The dress that I am planning on wearing. So let's get ready. Just finished up doing my hair and makeup. I didn't bring my brush with me, but I wanted to do a slick back look, so I literally used a toothbrush. I asked for a new toothbrush, and that was my brush, making it work. And I went with like a little bit more of a different makeup look today, because I usually go for like the same natural kind of look. And I have some new makeup products that I got, so I thought I would try something new. I'm gonna get dressed, and I'm gonna show you guys the final look. I went with this Mara Hoffman white flower dress, which I'm obsessed with. And then my Simone Rocha bag. I've done my Zara heels. But the look for tonight. Hey guys, I'm back home and it feels so good to be back. I'm starting to get my voice back like yesterday and the day before I pretty much had completely lost my voice. I hadn't talked that much in a while and this brand trip wasn't like a typical, I want to say like 
what you would expect. It was two days full of a jam-packed schedule from 7 a.m. to 12 a.m., networking with a lot of different brands and creators from all over the world. It was really, really um, exciting, and I felt very fortunate and grateful to have been invited by the LTK Korea team. Also, I turned on the camera because I wanted to show you guys a roundup of my recent favorites. Starting off with some pieces from Monica Vinader. I have been obsessed with their like bolder pieces in gold, especially their necklaces and earrings. Starting off with this one that I have on right now, this is part of the recent collection with Kate Young, and I love the little twisted detail. I love how light they are, and I can wear them for hours without my ears hurting. But this one is so cute. I'm definitely bringing a couple of these earrings to New Zealand when I go to a wedding. They're like really nice, bold pieces that you can wear with a simple dress or outfit. But love these. And then I have the matching ring on as well, as well as this pearl one. If you're looking for something a bit more casual on a day-to-day, -day, I feel like these cute shell ones are really nice as well. Then I have a couple favorites for necklaces. It's probably my favorite. And then I've layered this with a pearl necklace, which I think looks so good together. I've also shared this before, but I love my Monica Vinader bangles. I've been wearing them a bunch together as well. And you can get 20% off all of their pieces using my code LOISMV20. I'm gonna show you guys some beauty products that I've been loving. Starting off with this Road Barrier Cream. I've been using this in my morning skincare routine and I've always stuck to just Korean skincare products. I think they're the best, but I will say I've been fairly impressed. It's super light and moisturizing. I'm looking for something that will last throughout the day, but I just love how moisturizing and light it is at the same time without drying out my skin. And this is like a product that I've genuinely liked and I really wanna try their glazing milk toner as well because I've heard such great things. I'm impressed and have been using this um, a lot. And then I've been obsessed with just trying out different lip products recently. I found some really good ones. So I'm gonna share two that I've loved. I recently showed you guys the Fenty Beauty makeout break in my recent haul and I got another one because of how good it was so I just wanted to let you guys know that I am obsessed with this. Um, also because it's a lip shine it's very moisturizing, hydrating and it gives that glossy effect. This new one that I've gotten recently is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is in butterscotch so I was looking for something a bit more like nude nude and this one, as you can tell, is like a more of a brownie nude, and it's what I have on right now. It's like still quite subtle. I was looking for a very natural and beigey nude, so I've been loving that. I've been in love with my Celine sunglasses. This was my first designer pair of sunglasses. I always stuck to Gentle Monster, especially because it fits my face really well. It's a Korean brand, but these have been my go-to. I love them. I also have never had like a tortoise frame, but also just I love how flattering it is on my face. I love it. It's very chic, cute. I'm always trying out different sunscreens because I'm looking for the perfect one. I think I found it. It's the Round Lab Moisturizing Sunscreen. This one's highly hyped and raved about in Korea, but it's really worth it. It's very affordable, and also it is just like a second like moisturizer that's super light, no odor. Of course, ballet flats have been making a comeback and these are the only shoes that I've been wearing for like the past month. Um, I particularly love my Chanel ballet flats. But if I'm gonna invest in a pair of flats, I wanna make sure that they're super comfortable. For the black ones, I like the patent leather. It gives a bit more of a chic vibe compared to their other styles. I will say it's more stiff at the front because it's patent while these um, they're just regular leather, so I didn't have to break them in at all. I took my normal size US 8, um, which was a 38 and a half. I got the soles done in Korea when I went so that it's easier to maintain. I'll have them for a longer period of time. Lastly, nothing new, but you guys know I had the cost um, black bag and I caved and I got the cream one as well when it came back in stock. I think it's in stock right now, but they're like the best airport bags just you can fill it with so much stuff i love that it fits my laptop it's my work bag just like my everything bag so yeah it's back in stock check it out and those were my favorites i'll definitely try to do these more regularly like every season <laughs> Thank you.
Outfit of the day. Just finished up church and meeting my friend for lunch. I'm at the West Village. We're gonna try to eat at Via Carota. This will be really good Italian food. And the air is crisp. It really feels like fall now. I just finished work. About to head to a Soul Cycle class. Thought I would change it up. I haven't been to Soul Cycle in a couple of months, but I've kind of low key been in this workout rut. I have just been hating working out, and when I go, just want the class to end. I don't know if this happens to you guys. Maybe it's because the weather's getting colder, but I'm just not that excited to work out. And maybe it's because I haven't been very consistent with working out. Yeah. I'm gonna get myself to Soul Cycle. I've booked a class with my friend. I love Jonas's class because it's like all hip hop. So I'm gonna go there and then that's how I'll end my day. It. Now I ain't talking my pockets, just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I'm about I got to that make shit. Some dinner. I'm gonna attempt to make this potato tuna stew that my mom made the last time she was here. She said it's really easy, and I think I should be able to do it. So, not too many ingredients potato, tuna, onion, green onions if you want, and then let's just do this together. So now we're gonna make the sauce. Two tablespoons of sugar and the cochucado, which is red pepper flakes. I am so freaking excited to eat. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. My mom is such a good cook. Last time you guys loved her udon salad dish, so maybe the next time she's in town, I'll do like a little cooking video with her because I should learn some of her recipes. They're so good. Oh, 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 my soul. Oh, oh, my soul. I have been obsessed with this new cleanser that I've been using. It's the Round Lab cleanser. It's just super gentle. I feel like cleanser really makes a big difference. My skin never feels dry after I wash my face. Found something mild. Time for skincare. I've been using the Ceramide Mochi Toner from Tony Moly. I love a milk cleanser. I like how it says it's supposed to make it bouncy and mochi-like. And then using the Innisfree Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I've been incorporating eye cream into my nighttime routine using the Kiehl Creamy Eye Treatment with avocado. Just a little bit. And then finishing off my night routine with the Laneige 
lip sleeping mask. I've been using mint choco pretty much out, but I love all the different scents. It's just super hydrating on the lips. And this is my night routine. I'm going to read a book and then go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next vlog.